Oh, bridge is out. Bridge is out. That sucks. Well, I tried to uh, salvage my crappy ride by extending it to double bogey, but bridge is out. So I think I'm just gonna sit on this bench, meditate for a couple minutes, and then uh, climb back up to the city. I don't think I'll stay long because the sun is just right on top of me, but I love this spot. I love this spot. It's funny. When you like bust into nature, everything around in that media area seems to like go away like part of like sitting here for a bit is like oh I can hear more now I've like I've stopped making noise but also like some stuff just comes back like some stuff birds or whatever like they stop moving around because they hear you a threat and they just like chill and then you stop moving for a bit and they're like okay I can just resume my normal activities and then you hear so much more I don't know, I really like that feeling of just like getting to a spot and sitting for a bit and then just like hearing everything. Hearing nature turn the volume back to normal. Having access to uh, somebody who really knows what they're doing with vehicles, especially, especially specializing in, you know, your uh, make of vehicle, which mine is a VW, is really handy. Um, I mean, you save a lot of money and uh, you get work done maybe a lot sooner. So, shout out to Aiden for uh, fixing my sunroof. Didn't take long and uh, it wasn't a triple digit fix like it would have been at the dealership. So, um, yeah, I love my sunroof. There's a lot of things with this car that like, I mean, the car is like sound and mechanically great, but you know, there's, there's things that I would I, I would rather have a different vehicle that would suit my needs better and my lifestyle better but uh, I've tried to keep this in tip-top shape and it's uh, always useful to have someone around to help because yeah cost and also I can't really do a lot of the stuff with the vehicle myself but uh, yeah I also love the sunroof so like um, it had some problems closing uh, a couple years ago like it stayed open maybe it was like three or four years ago it happened it was like the same thing like I would try to close it and it like wouldn't close and then um, it, it would just like pop back open and just needed to be cleaned, but it was like an expensive fix. Uh, well, more expensive than it should have been for like the 15, 20 minutes it actually took. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm like really hungry and hot and <clears throat> I need to go home. Uh, what was I saying? Sunroof? Oh yeah, that's the thing. It happened in summer and it's like, no, like I need it. Like I love it. Like. It's just, I have it down as much as possible. I got the sunroof back, like, as much as I can. So, uh, especially right now with this weather, it's like I'd rather have the sunroof down, the windows open, than using up gas and AC. Um, and it just is, you know, for city driving, it's just, like, really nice. So, I'm really glad that I got that fixed within, like, two days of it being an issue. So, that's tight, and I'm super pumped about that. So, happy, positive things. So a couple weeks ago I did my first six mile run of the season, which is really late to do that, but uh, because I really enjoy the trail. And uh, then I went to Saskatchewan for like a week, so uh, yeah, now now I'm back and I'm gonna gonna hit it up again. Last time I was not ready, like I don't I just didn't make like half my climbs and stuff, so I feel pretty good this morning. Let's hope my bike does too.
flew out of the golf course. What in the world? Yeah, the golf course is just right there across the river. That's bananas. Friend, he's taking a rest. We're gonna talk about Sad Boy Summer in a second. But, uh, I painted these. I really like how they turned out. It's just really simple. But I was like, man, I these are just flat black. And part of me thought about like if I painted them like a glossy black, that would be enough, because I liked them black, uh, the way they came. However, um, then I was like, man, gold would be kind of fresh. Like, let's try that out. And uh, then I was like, oh, maybe I'll have some like red kind of dripping blood stuff. And, and anyway, I really like it. This one might, like, I don't know if I, it could use a little more red. Um, maybe I'll do that right away. Anyway, Sad Boy Summer is something that I haven't posted yet, but by the time you see this, I'll, I'll have made a post about it. Um, I'm just going to multitask here. No, I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Anyway, uh, I was thinking... <laughs> I've been, I've been seeing hot girl summer everywhere, and then uh, I was just thinking, um, I don't know, it just I don't know where, it just came to me, I was just like, oh, sad boy summer, that's where I'm at, and so I was just thinking about, about making these funny posts, and I was like, how many people are going to find that funny though, or like know my sense of humor, or like, I don't know, I express a lot of things and mask a lot of pain and humor too. And then it got me thinking about this quote that I absolutely love, which I'm sure I've shared here before at some point along the way in the past three years. And it was, um, is, uh, humor is the knife which you cut through the forest of despair. And I really, really love that quote. So to me, Sad Boy Summer is just like a funny thing uh, that has some truth to it. But also like, obviously, I, I mean, and then there's like self-fulfilling prophecies and everything else that go along with that. Like, I don't really want to like, have sad boy summer, like, obviously, but it's like where I'm at, and so making fun of where I'm at helps me get out of that, in a way, it makes me feel better about just, like, just, I don't know, it's fun to laugh and be fun, like, rather than just be like, I'm so sad, but, like, expressing it externally helps me, like, it's just like telling somebody a joke, like, or it's just, like, depreciate, like, like, um, you know, self-deprecating humor. I don't know. It just it just helps. So that's Sad Boy Summer. Uh, I'm gonna do something with these right away. That's probably a little more gruesome than it needs to be, but it's not dripping very well, and it's erasing a lot of the gold um, when I'm spraying that red over top. But I like this one probably the most just because the amount of splatters. But I would like them to be different, so I'm gonna keep them the way they are. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm really enjoying that right now. It makes me very happy. So, uh, anyway, that is the outro. That is it for the vlog this week. Uh, I think there's a lot of bike stuff and not a lot else. I've been talking on the phone a lot this week. Uh, like, when sometimes I would be vlogging stuff. So, um, and yeah, it's been a weird week. It's been a very unproductive week. I guess I can give you a work update. So, there is a inner city high school... Um, that I'm really interested in working for and they didn't have a position open but I left them with my resume anyway like a month ago three to four weeks ago and they called me and I was in an interview about 45 minutes after the call if, if, if even that a zoom interview and uh, I'm really excited about it I was really excited about it because they, they called me because they have an art position but then I learned that it's just a mat leave and it's kind of it's like a five hour it's five hours away and the place that it is, I'm really excited about. I would really like to live there, um, but it's just a mat leave right now. There's no guarantee of anything else. So I'd be leaving, like I have a little bit of a safety net with the subbing jobs that I have here. And so if I was in a temporary contract here, I could fall back on subbing after, but there's no guarantee that I would be able to get on the sub list or, or find another job or whatever else after this mat leave is gone. However, a full-time position gives me a little bit of money to put away a little bit of a safety net um, so that I can find something else at, like until I can find something else after if I can't find something like for right after so I don't know if I have the job yet anyway but if I was offered the, the job which I think I, I would 
I would do really well in and I think that I, I fit um, in, the, in their program, then I've got a real big decision to make. Um, so, I mean, that's the other thing. Like, then it's leaving all this, right? It's like trying to find a new studio or like, well, there's no way. Like, I mean, technically I could afford paying rent here that year or whatever that I was gone if I was really going to move back. Because I wouldn't want to give up this, like, oh, man, that's a whole other layer I haven't really thought of in depth yet. Anyway, I'm really hungry. I need to go home. I should have eaten my three hours ago. See you on another time. Spoke too soon. Uh, videos this week. I mentioned there's some, some raw rides. There's three of them. Um, none of them are too crazy exciting. Um, but they're there. So you can check them out. <laughs> what a bad way to advertise for my own stuff. Um... What did I ride? A uh, new one uh, called um, Chain Stretcher. It's on a trail I really enjoy. It's pretty short. It's kind of downhill. There's more fun ways to get to that trail system of 6.5 mile. Um, and then there's Topside Grind the regular way and then in reverse. And I had I really struggled with in reverse and the regular way, regular way. Uh, I went really slow on it. I'm going to do a faster run with a chest cam later. But... Other than those raw rides, there is a conversation, as always, and that is about emotional memory and what that means to me and kind of helped me figure out and what I need to do about it. Now, we will see you on another time.